Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Linux Mint 15 Olivia alongside Windows 7. Now, in Windows 7, right click Computer, go to Manage, Disk Management. We need to make sure that the C drive doesn't contain four partition. In this case, it has two, so we are OK. If your C drive contains four partitions. Do not continue with this video tutorial for it might not work. Now we need to download the Linux Mint 15 ISO. The link is in the description box below. You can download the 32 bit or 64 bit version of Linux Mint 15. Now, there, make sure to download from a mirror closest to you for faster download. I have already downloaded the um, Linux Mint 15 ISO, it's right here. In Windows 7 all you need to do is just right click, burn disk image to create a bootable disk. Select disk burner in case you have multiple, verify disk after burning, that's optional, and click on burn. Once you have created the bootable disk, leave the disk in the drive and restart your Windows 7. Now you need to make sure that you have selected the uh, disk drive to be the first boot device in the BIOS. I have a link in the description box that can help you do that too. Now once you boot from the Linux Mint uh, 15, this is uh, the starting process. Here go ahead and click on install Linux Mint. This is really easy to do. Select the language, continue. Now, all it's telling you is that you have at least 6 gigs, you're OK, and it's connected to the internet. Continue. I usually select something else, but this time I'll select Install Linux Mint alongside Windows 7. Go ahead and click on Continue here. And this is very important. You need to make sure if you have several drives to click on the drop down here and select the, pro the appropriate drive. Now in, if you have one, there's no need to worry about this. Now by default, Linux Mint selected 24 gigs and the remainder for Windows 7. I'm not going to use 24 gigs for my Linux Mint installation. So I just need to grab on the handlebar here and move it to the right to select a 10 gigs partition for my Linux Mint 15. Perfect. Now I have 10 gigs for my Linux Mint and the remainder for Windows 7. Very simple. Install now. You'll be prompted to uh, continue. This means that you can't undo this operation if you click on continue. Select your time zone, your keyboard layout, plug in your information here whether you want to log in automatically or not. Continue. To install Linux Mint 15 Olivia on the partition, go ahead and click on Restart. And now, once you restart, you'll be prompted with this Grow Up menu. You can select Windows 7 from here or Linux Mint 15. Enter. And now you have successfully created a dual boot. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.